Well, there is a new report that Russia's paramilitary Wagner group has been using Twitter and Facebook. They're turning to social media to enlist new recruits. That's according to Politico. This group has reportedly lost about 20,000 fighters in Ukraine and has been trying to attract new recruits. And that includes medics, drone operators, even psychologists. A UK research group says that job ads in dozens of languages have gotten nearly 120,000 views over the last 10 months although they couldn't pinpoint it to the Wagner group specifically with total certainty, the head of the research group tells Politico that the post used the exact same language as previously verified Wagner accounts on other social media outlets like Telegram, for example. Andrei Dobryansky is with us this morning, Director of Communications and Media for the Ukrainian Congress Committee of America. Appreciate you being here. What is your understanding of the Wagner group's role and authority right now in this war? They've always been a tough nut to crack for Western observers. Uh, it has to do with the dichotomy of the fact that Vladimir Putin has instilled this power vertical so much in his country since taking control that it's hard to understand why there would be rogue assets running around. And yet this has always been the case of Russia's political structure of having uh, these oligarchs, people of means and uh, feeling untouchable, like the head of this uh, Wagner group, uh, starting their own outfit and Putin allowing it to happen just to see what would happen. Uh, perhaps fans of succession would like to, you know, uh, embark on envisioning what it's like to live with such a megalomaniac, somebody who's so rich like Putin, and then still allowing madness to happen around him. So what's, what, uh, what you reported about uh, Putin advertising for, uh, sorry, Wagner uh, advertising for soldiers has, is very much like uh, the uh, the entities of pirates of yore telling people that uh, who are in low castes trying to, trying to make some money, uh, a big reward will happen if you sign up for the Wagner group. But much like the pirates of yore, you will not see any retired Wagner people. It is all a scam. They just want soldiers and bodies to throw into the fight. Is Putin allowing it or does he have no control over these groups? Uh, if he wanted uh, the head of Wagner and he wanted the uh, leadership within it to to stop, he could have them assassinated. We know that as much. Um, he is interested in having other people take initiative to do something. However, this bites him in the rear when it when it comes to Ukraine, where Wagner is now retreating from positions that it had taken because it doesn't have the personnel, doesn't have the funding, uh, and so anything that they did uh, is essentially a loss for Russia. What are you hearing, Andre? from the front lines from your sources. Has Ukraine's spring offensive begun? Uh, more and more people are traveling uh, several kilometers than they were uh, just a month prior. But uh, for people to understand, it's been like that for a long time, even during this, what people refer to a frozen con conflict. Once the Minsk agreement came on board and the heavy artillery got pulled out, uh, there were days and weeks where uh, soldiers from either side would you know, travel a kilometer or, or three in a night, uh, take over positions of other uh, trenches, and then it would reverse in the following week. It's always been a, a sort of fluid area in terms of the uh, two warring combatants on both sides. In terms of what Ukraine has been doing, more and more equipment, for sure, we have seen online, so I'm not spilling the beans here. We've seen more and more Western, Western equipment online already uh, being deployed uh, to areas uh, now crossing the Dnipro River uh, over several weeks ago, uh, getting closer and closer to engage with Russian forces in a way that the Russian forces have not yet seen. One thing that caught my attention, a new report reveals 60,000 women are now serving in Ukraine's armed forces. What more can you tell us about those who are joining the fight on the front line? Well, and uh, just to clarify for everybody, uh, Ukraine has a conscription for men. So when you see 60,000 women, those are mostly volunteers who are fighting. Uh, so this is uh, this is uh, shows the dedication, the patriotism, and just the need for defending one's homeland. Uh, before the full-fledged aggression in, during this nine-year war began on February 24th, uh, 2022, Ukraine had up to a quarter of its forces as um, uh, of its armed forces as women, and a significant amount of them over 
over a thousand, I believe, uh, were at the officer level. So Ukraine had been integrating women into its armed forces at a much higher rate than its neighbors for some time now. Uh, what we have seen since the full-fledged aggression began, this uh, new invasion, as people have called it, uh, we've seen that uh, women weren't satisfied with just letting the men fight. This is a this is an all-or-nothing campaign. So uh, the fact that so many people have volunteered for service, have served in service, and many have died in service, that just demonstrates uh, the conviction people have that victory will be coming. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.